Hello everybody, I am Moldy West, and this is Oceanhorn once again. Now, let's see what lies behind this gate here. Alright, that seems unnecessarily complicated to get a gate open, but who am I to complain? I'm in, aren't I? Swimming. Hello, fish man. You are the first visitor here for centuries. You look funny. You, you look funny. Choke on my blade. Also, just for the hell of it, there you go. Oh, it hit that fucking shell. Damn. Won't be able to drop a rock on him. Where is the emblem of ocean, you ask? It is in our royal palace. Well, then, I see a heart piece over there. I always liked Aurus, Thorn the Brave. Yes, we helped him. Our best blacksmiths swam to the darkest gorges of the ocean to create the greatest weapon ever, made by a gilman, the Coral Saber. It was one of the greatest undertakings in our history, and it is well remembered. Thorn the Brave cut Sea Lork in half with the Coral Saber, and that was that. But neither the Coral Saber nor Thorn the Brave was ever seen after that. Nobody knows exactly where the battle was fought, but everyone knows that that was the end of Sea Lork. Okay. I see that heart piece, and you know I want it. But what do I do to get to it? Perhaps I just walk over here. Or... Nope. Not that simple. Mayhaps I can drop a rock on it. That was a pot and it missed. That is not the spot I told it to land. Eh. I've got this thing. And it's in the water now. Excellent. You are going to slay Ocean Horn? I wish we could help you, but our spears are no sharper than yours, and Ocean Horn is far more dangerous on the sea than on the land. You have to lure it to land. That's what Thorn the Brave did to Sea Lork. Okay then. Throw that in the water again for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Oh good, we got one of these guys again. Come on, you bitch! And bang! Ha ha. Can't swing the sword around while in the deep water, though. That'll make fighting in the water very difficult. Speaking of fighting in the, in the water, that's something that you di had to do on Monster Hunter 3. I played the living shit out of that game when I first f got my 3DS. And I've been and I've been playing Monster Hunter Generations, and it's kind of annoying that they haven't brought the underwater fighting back. Fighting underwater was a huge pain in the ass in that game, but it was still fucking awesome. They left in that stupid ass thing where you take a hit and then stand there with stars going around your head for about twelve seconds, leaving you open to an attack. And if they were going to remove anything, they should have removed that. Seriously. It happens way too often. I got another lantern. And... Wait. I can carry this through the deep water. Cool. Hmm. Maybe it'll do something to them crystals that can't be blown up. Perhaps the light is the bane of their existence. Perhaps I am wrong. Let us see, shall we? If my guy would walk any faster! And... Nope. Absolutely nothing. You are useless to me! Alright. Done nothing but waste time and talk about Monster Hunter here. Let's get it going. We need to figure out what needs to be done. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. 
Oh yeah, it's you again. Shut up. Perhaps a key would be nice. But I ain't got no key. Maybe I can get one from one of these guys or find it in a treasure chest or something. You there. Yeah, you already told me about the Emblem of Ocean. Don't need to say it again. What about this guy? How do you do? We are hiding in the caves because of Ocean Horn. I wish I could swim in the open. Yeah. yeah. Take that, shell. I place a bomb in thee. Well, that didn't do anything. Fuck. Minimap says there's a treasure chest over here. Oh, hey, there it is. Now, how do I get to it, though? That's the problem. That's the question on everyone's mind. It is. It isn't, but just pretend it is. That's how the world works. There's that honey again. And... Yeah, there's that treasure chest, but how the fuck do I get to it? Huh. Damn it, I don't want to look up a walkthrough again. I looked up a walkthrough before to help get me unstuck in the first dungeon. It turns out all I had to do was bomb the floor, but this is just ridiculous. Taint no clues telling me to where I'm supposed to go. The only lead I have to go on is that fucking treasure chest that can't be reached. And what the fuck am I supposed to do? What to be done indeed I do, I wonder, I wish I may, I wish I might, a stink, a stank, a slink, a schlank. Did I talk to that guy over there yet? I think I might have. Uh, you. Listen to me, son, I have a story to tell. Oh, just needed to talk to him. Our people are going through All right. our time. Clearly. After the catastrophe, our beloved King Andrew passed away as he was one with the ocean. You say so? His thoughts got polluted. His heart could not take the fall of his kingdom. Uh huh. Then a man in a dark cape appeared. He was bringing a funeral gift to Princess Finn. Uh huh. Princess laid the gift at her father's feet. A horrible curse broke loose. You can never trust a man in a black cape. I beat one of them Breath up earlier. Cold air blew through the holes of our palace. Time stopped. Okay. Princess Finn and the palace have been frozen for a thousand years now. Really, that long? You'd think the ice would be far more spread out than that. I was spread a young further. Fish back then. A hundred years old. A hundred years young? You people are weird. We cannot go inside because the entrance and the palace are frozen. <laughs> our only hope is a treasure hidden in the cavern of fire. But cavern our of kind fire. is unable to reach it, and nobody else dares to enter it. Cavern of fire, you say? I guess that's where I have to go now. Here, take this key, Arcadian. Maybe you can find the courage to enter the Cavern of Fire. That was the plan, old man. Ha ha. That rhymes. I am a poet and I did not know it. That also rhymes. Poetry for life. <laughs> I damn near dropped the N-word right there. Don't want to do that. I managed to stop myself and say ha 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 instead. I am aware of my s mistakes and I am taking steps to prevent from making said mistakes. Alright. Now then. Yep, I'm a drowning. Can't stay in that water for too long. Uh. Hmm, where do I go from here? 
the Cavern of Fire is on this island, isn't it? Bah! Take that, plant! Nobody likes you! Follow the bugs! Okay, maybe don't follow the bugs. They just ran into the ocean and died. Or maybe I do follow the bugs. Yes! The bugs point me in the direction of riches, ow! And death. Alright, let's try that again. This time, less stupidity. How the fuck? I made it to dry land! Fuck you, game! Uh, there. Alright. Can't drown anymore now that I'm on the land. Let's shoot an arrow through the fire. That usually does something. They wouldn't have put that torch there if they didn't want me to do that. Or maybe they would. Maybe it's just a guiding light. Or maybe I'm supposed to do something like this. Or... Pew! Did I hit something? What the fuck am I looking at over there? Hmm... Uh, oh, I see a button over there. Alright. Hold on a moment. Can I pick up this fire bowl? This torch? Yes, I can. Huck! Well, that doesn't work. That dropped a pot. Let's hope it drops something else. Nope, another pot. Fucking magic. Heesh! Quickly now, through the water. Don't die now. A door will open when a wooden bird with a metal beak flies over the dragon's head. Alright, we need a wooden bird with a metal beak and a dragon, apparently. Alright. That we're on a timer, clearly. Wooden bird with a metal beak. Might that be talking about this? Hmm. Hard to see anything. Bang. Hey. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. There's a target that needs to be hit there. Hit the button and as soon as it lets me move, run. And bang. Got it. Why did I say bang though? I'm using arrows. Arrows don't go bang unless you got something explosive tied to the end of them. Alright. Another letter in a bottle. Hi Sally, I hope you miss me. I'm going to help you out, but that cavern of fire is too hot. I heard there could be something that can help me in Old Fortress. I'm going there, so wish me luck, M.A. Alright. And... <laughs> this be the Cavern of Fire, apparently. Okay, not sure what good that did. Alright. To the Cavern of Fire. The cabin of hot fire. There we go. Goodbye, rock. Hmm. -hmm. Is this something I could pick up, or is it going to hurt me if I touch it? Nope. No pain. Unrealistic. Oh, <laughs> thought he was having a seizure, but he actually just merged with the block. Damn. I already got this puzzle figured out. It's just a simple thing where you're able to push the block in any direction, but only once. And bang! Oh, come on, it's wearing a mask. Ah, I'm all out of magic. Ow, fire, hot, pain. God damn it, got stuck on the box. There we go. 
I kind of need that heart. All right, you floating fuck bucket. Come get some. I don't want no fire. Eh. Damn it, I missed. I know you spit hot fire, but I don't want none of it. Ow. I said I don't want none of it. Yeah. All right. Made it to safety. And with that, I'm all out of time for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.